Hello, and welcome to the Board Game Chuck YouTube channel. My name is Pierre. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Sierra West. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the discovery. So perfect, we got some Sierra West action right here. Let's so uh, flip the box. So as you can see, this game comes with four uh, modules as well. It's called the Apple Hill, Boats and Banjos, Gold Rush, and the Outlaws Outposts. So let us open it up and see what's going on here. So first things first, we have the very, very glossy rule book here. And it tells you about the uh, those four modules that you, you can pick one to play essentially, and then it has different uh, pieces in it. And then, uh, yeah. You make a lovely mountain out of cards like that. A la um, Seven Wonders Duel kind of thing. And uh, yeah, just explains all the things. So, nice rule book. I will just put it to the side for the uh, components here. So here, we, uh, we'll start with this promo here for Teo Teo uh, It's just for the uh, the decoration tiles there, which is nice. Like you got some wilds here, which is pretty nice. And this one is for Dice Settlers. This promo here, I'll be sure to add both of these to my game. Here we have a Homestead scoring board. And I believe this one is used for uh, every game. Here we have the... Uh, Apple Hill Homestead scoring board here. Here we have some uh, surplus tokens, times five and uh, times ten. And then there's just the back there. And here it looks like we have some sort of outlaw tokens right here. Boop, boop, boop. We have some, some boots, which are uh, just pairs of boot tokens, I guess. We have some fish tokens here. And this little piece here is for the... So this is the Cabin Market Board tile. And here we have a uh, the starting player marker, which is uh, a nice person doing some, uh, you know, some gold rushing, I guess. Here we have some uh, minecart tokens here. This is for the uh, gold rush module. And uh, these tokens here are the... Da, da, da. Just give me a moment there. The 24 basic cabin tiles, I guess, is what these are. And here's the back. And here we have some uh, animal tiles here. And this one here is for the boats and banjos. This one. And it's the, uh, I guess, the fish market tile. And this is a uh, apple supply board right here. And here we have these two little, it looks like jigsaw pieces. And this is the bottom of the mountain. And this is the folding mountain baseboard. It says folding in the uh, components outlook, but I mean, this doesn't look like it folds to me. It looks like it just kind of gets put together like this. It's kind of strange. Oh, I guess, yeah, look. Like the times one is there, but then just kind of gets put there. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And here, we'll just open this little pack of, I'm not sure what this is, but we'll open it up. And this seems like uh, some player aids, maybe. We have uh, some turn structures here. It says it only comes with one, but I mean, I'm looking at four of them right now. There you go. Player aids. Um, I wonder if I can put something in the back of this. Oh, look at that. No more glare. Man, it's only taken me like 20 videos to figure that out. Okay. Next here, we have the player boards, and they are kind of uh, dual layered, but not in a sense that you would think like, this is just kind of flat when you put your cabins on here. But if you take a look here, see how it's kind of got that little uh, indent right there, because uh, you have a very unique way of putting the cards behind here, and uh, I'll show you when I get to the cards what that looks like. Uh, here we have some, uh, this looks like some wood some wood tokens it just look, look like that right? just a typical wood tokens I actually played uh, what did I play on the weekend I played Agricola and this is what the wood tokens look like as well uh, thank you for uh, showing me that um, 
Tim. That's very nice of you. Tim, who runs our YouTube channel. Uh, his name you've heard maybe a little bit. His name is uh, Unplugged Game Studios. Go check him out. Some good stuff up there as well. Here we have some gold tokens. I'm assuming, yep, gold tokens right there. Right there. And then next, uh, we'll just keep going with the tokens. Here we have some food tokens. And, uh, you'll notice they just look like, you know, chicken haunches or turkey haunches there. And next we have, we have these uh, stone tokens that are just pretty much just, you know, square blocks, just like that. Right? And uh, next, let's go into uh, just these, these discs, which are, whatever, these discs are uh, homestead markers. So if you take a, I think, uh, let's see, there's a tiny little one, I'm not sure what that's for. But uh, yeah, there's homestead markers, one, two, th there's three of them, and then there's supposed to be two. Anyway, so there you go, those are what those are. Just discs. I don't know why I'm showing you discs. You've seen discs before. If you've seen a board game. Here we have the uh, Pioneers. And there's also a Frontiersman. So let's take a look at the difference between them. I'll put them all down here and I'll grab all the yellow ones. <laughs> Oops, I grabbed the cube instead. So we have this one here is the uh, two different Pioneer figures, it says. And then one of them is a Frontiersman? No, that can't be right. Oh, the Frontiersman is green. Like that? <laughs> That's strange. Anyways. Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. That's what that looks like. And then next here we have... Uh, There's going to be one wagon. So a canoe. Let's take a look here. So, we have uh, some wagons here, and then we have a canoe right there, and of course a die. And we have this uh, little wooden piece, which is a mule figure. It looks like a little mule. Looks like that. And next up we have these three packs of cards. So, as usual, I will grab these, I will go off camera, and I will open them, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sorted all the cards, and uh, I'm going to try to make sense of it. It's a little bit uh, wishy-washy, but the first thing here is the uh, the solo cards here. So let's just go quickly through them. It's just uh, Every card is pretty much just a bunch of iconography on here, right? So nothing too, too special, I don't believe. And uh, just some more solo stuff here. And then we got the backs of them look like that. And then like that, essentially. So that's the solo cards. Next, uh, let's take a look at just the starting player cards. We'll take a look at this. Let's see if I turn on my light. Is, is that any better? Is that too bright? Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyways. Yeah, maybe a bit. Let's turn that off. There we go. Okay. So this is uh, for blue player, his cards. So I'm just going to take Blue Player as an example, and I'll show you what those uh, finger close to recess boards, boards were like. So you take your three cards, and you're supposed to kind of make them look like this, and then you put them behind the board, just like that. And then that's like the steps that you can take, and you, you walk your, your two people from this side of the board to that side of the board, and then you just take the actions that are on the cards, which is a pretty neat mechanism, if you ask me. And uh, that's what really intrigued me. I watched a play of this on uh, the John Getz Games uh, YouTube channel, and he did a very good job of explaining the whole thing. They went through a whole entire game, and it got me really intrigued. So uh, this is um, the cards that are set up. Oh, these are the cards that are in your hand for each player, and they all have the same ones, except for different colors. As you can tell, those are the colors up there, the hats, and uh, the back of the cards look like a mountain, which is pretty. And, uh, yeah. So there you go. Next, we'll go into the, the first module, which is the Apple Hill module, which is mode one. So these would be the cards for them. And this is the, these are the cards that form the mountain. 
uh, if you remember from the rule book, they just, uh, let's see here. I'm just bringing the rule book in here. See, the mountain will be formed like this with cards. And then uh, the orchard will be set up at the bottom like this. And I'll show you those orchard cards when they come up here. So we have these cards here. Like I said, they just kind of look like a whole bunch of iconography, right? Nothing too, too spectacular here. Um, and then we got the orchard cards like this. And then the backs of them just look like that mountain. Next we have uh, the next module in line is the uh, boats and banjos, which uh, I know I mentioned them a lot, but uh, this is Tim Dick's, I think, f uh, most intriguing module. He just saw boats and banjos. He was like, this it seems like something. So here we go. Um, boats and banjos. Again, this is, these are the cards that would form that mountain that you climb and uh, just the iconography on it. And then here is what is unique to the actual uh, module, and these get put at the bottom of that mountain there. And just the, the mountain on the back as well. Just move these out like that and make a whole bunch of noise. Next, we have the third mode, which is a gold rush, and you can tell because of this little minecart up there, right? So we'll go through them again. These mountains form, these cards, sorry, form the mountain. All that pile of iconography, and then next we have these cards here. I'm not really sure what starts and what doesn't, but I guess the die is involved there. And then there's little ones there, ones and twos. And then this is the uh, there's one of these. It's the lantern card. That's the back. And then there's also the dynamite card. That's the back. And those other cards just look like uh, the mountains there. And last but not least, module is the Outlaws and Outposts, which is mode four. And again, like all of them, these cards form the mountain that you'll be climbing. And then after that, we have this one Sheriff card here. And then we have these Wanted cards here that go on the bottom. And then you have this card here, which is your bullet supply card. Each player will get one of these and uh, one of these. And that's the back, and then that's the back of that one. Just a bunch of more bullets. So there you go. Um, sort of empty box. Let me just move that here and officially make that an empty box and uh, end a video. So I hope you uh, enjoyed that. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, if you leave a comment, I'll be I'll be able to answer it as soon as I can. And um, yeah, just maybe follow me on Instagram if you want. Uh, same thing, board game Chuck. And until next time, have a good one. Thank you.